So last Sunday, John took us through the beginning portions of Isaiah 58. And one of his key points was when we worship to please ourselves. And that kind of got my wheels, you know, turning a little bit. Why would we do that? You know, why, why would we put an effort, energy, time, capacity to worship ourselves? And as I thought about it, kind of processed through it, my mind went to, you know, one, we're all born with spiritually defective DNA. And as a result of our spiritually defective DNA, we all have highly, highly sensitive egos. And so when we're worshiping to please ourselves, I think we could boil it, and I'm sure there's multiple reasons, but I think we could boil it to one overall reason to make ourselves look better. You know, maybe maybe you did something wrong, and so you're trying to cover it. You're trying to hide, right? Or, or maybe you did something, and you did it well, you did it right, but it wasn't exactly the result that you were hoping for. And so you're wanting to make it look better than what it actually is. And I think what happens is God and his Holy Spirit Thank God and grace and mercy and love and compassion and justice goes, no, no, no. And I think he takes the needle and he pops our utopian balloon of what we envision ourselves to be. The grandeur is no more. It is deflated and is fragmented and in pieces. And I think in the wreckage of that, we're going, but God, why? Look what I did. Look what I've done. And yet we're here in the midst, in the presence of the Lord, creator of heaven, creator of earth. And God is saying, that's not what it's about. It's, it's not about your glory. It's about my glory and how in partnership and unity and service and compassion, we can see that glory penetrate the darkness and bring restoration into people's lives. Because when we make it about us, we're no longer in the business of seed creation re restored. I would argue we're attempting to restore ourselves with spiritually defective DNA. So I think the takeaway from this, from worshiping to please ourselves, to evaluate our own motives, what is driving us? You know, is it compassion to see Jesus penetrate the darkness and partner in that? Or is it passion to hide my sensitive ego? Thanks, Hope.